Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss follower point analysis of four bar linkage using analytical method. Here is a typical four bar linkage and link AD is a fixed link and whose length is L1. Link AB is a crank whose length is L2 and, at, and it is at an angle theta2 from horizontal. Link BC is a coupler and whose length is L3 and it is at an angle theta3 from horizontal. Link DC is a follower whose length is L4 and it is at an angle theta4 from horizontal. This point is a point on the, on the follower link and this length we call that L5 and angle between uh, DE and BC is alpha. So in this video, I am going to derive equations to find X and Y positions of this point E and solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. Now let us call this angle theta phi that is angle between uh, this link DE and horizontal that is theta phi. Theta phi equal to theta 4 minus alpha. Theta phi equal to theta 4 minus alpha. Now uh, let us write equation for x position of this E. Ex equal to L1 that is a fixed link length plus L5 cos theta phi. That is L5 is this length and cos theta phi horizontal. Here we have used plus sign. So cos theta phi in the second quadrant it will become negative and in the first quadrant it is positive. So by putting plus here it will take care of the sign for 360 degrees rotation of the crank. Similarly, let us write equation for y position EY, EY equal to L5 sin theta phi, that is this height. So these are pretty simple um, equations. Uh, in the next slide, let us see a problem. Here in this video, we have taken again the same problem we discussed in uh, um, position and displacement analysis of four bar linkage. And that link for that video is given in the description box. Please see that. So here the uh, link length, um, uh, fixed link length L1 equal to 80 millimeter, L2 crank 20 millimeter, L3 coupler 66 millimeter, L4 follower 56 millimeter, L5 uh, that is uh, DE 30 millimeter and alpha is 30 degrees. So for any given uh, crank angle 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 30 degrees, uh, we have calculated, we have taken uh, these values L, beta, alpha, lambda, theta 3, theta 4, L2, X, L2, Y, L4, X, L4, Y from the uh, position and displacement analysis video, uh, uh, position and displacement analysis of four bar linkage video. So here uh, EX and EY calculated from the equations derived in the previous uh, slide. So these are when alpha equal to 30 degrees, these two columns. And these two columns we have calculated EX and EY when alpha equal to 0 degrees. That means um, the point E falls on the follower link itself. So in the coming in the next slide, let us see the graph. In this graph, this circle is BX and BY, that is a crank position for 360 degrees of crank rotation, uh, position of point B uh, for 360 degrees of uh, crank rotation. And this curve is the position of point C. Uh, on the uh, on the follower link and this uh, green curve is when alpha equal to 30 degrees and this yellow curve is when alpha equal to 0 degrees. So these are the uh, curves how they look like. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.